What's going on, everybody? It's Davey from the 80s, and you are now entering the Cinema Chop Shop, so park your ass right there. And right there, don't forget to hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. Also, if you check the link below, you see a Patreon account. If you click it, you can become a member. All you got to do is try recommend movies and music and trailers for me to react to, so click the damn link. Now, with that being said, we're here today to give you a little bit of movie news. Apparently, Lionsgate executives have announced that John Wick 5 is an early <clears throat> development. So that means that we are having a John Wick 5. Now, if you have not seen John Wick 4, I would recommend that you please exit the vi video right now because I'm going to go into spoilers for John Wick 4. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but John Wick is a, is a freaking action movie. It's not a horror movie, so it doesn't live within the framework of the horror uh, <laughs> the horror rules, which are, if you don't see a body, that means a person didn't die. Right, that's the horror myth. That's the idea of time horror. Um, but John Wick's body was never really well. You do see him dying out on the curb, but you never see him actually like flat out die. So it is assumed that, of course, that you can still keep him alive. Now, me personally, I think that this is a terrible idea because one, you gave John Wick this extravagant ending. You signed him off very well. Like you, you gave him the nice little right off into the sunset i think they did that very well and on top of that we have the continental spinoff and you have the ballerina spinoff coming along and then you also have the ending of john witch wick which um reveals that um scorpion's daughter the dude that plays scorpion his daughter is, is seeking revenge against um donnie yen's character right so that could have done its own thing too but why in the world do we need john wick to come back in order to like continue this movement. And I know why the movie made hella money. And because it made hella money, they're just like, yo, we're going to keep pumping these movies out. Think Fast and the Furious. That's exactly what they're doing here. And here's the problem. The problem is, if we're being honest right now, the quality of John Wick movies has been declining, right? The quality has been declining. And I'm not talking about it from a perspective of like action. I'm not talking about a perspective of, fighting and choreography and things like that because those things are a one but we're talking about the the aspect of quality of story right the quality of story from the john wick franchise has been really really declining and this last movie basically said it all what in the world could they possibly do in the next film john wick finds out they find out john wick is really alive what the high table wants to come get him again and then we start all over again this is becoming really repetitive and honestly, like the last movie, it really was like, it was a chore to get through, at least story-wise, right? Action-wise, the movie's fantastic. But story-wise, it's a chore to get through. And the more you watch it, the more you're like, this is a terribly written movie. And then on top of that, it had a terribly written uh, final boss, right? With uh, Bill Skarsgård's character. One of the most terrible villains I've ever seen in my life. I mean, literally unbelievable, right? And on top of that, dude was a weenie, right? And it it was just one of the, like I said, again, terribly written villain. Dude was a weenie. He wasn't even a menace. And it's like, you would think that the last person that John Wick fights has to have some sort of like, you know, some sort of fighting background or at least do somebody that could be menacing and then have a stunt double step in and really like get down on his behalf. Bill Skarsgård's character was nothing. Like, he literally was nothing. He wasn't believable. I couldn't even take him serious as a villain. He was just terribly written. And a lot of these characters in the movie were terribly written. Uh, I mean, I like Donnie Yen's character. I like dude that plays uh, Scorpion. I liked his character. I like the good guy's characters, right? But a lot of the villains in this movie and the people that were on the other side, they were horribly written. And then, like, as you can tell that this movie is, like, retconning itself as it's going on like you know what i'm saying like he does one thing in one movie and then turns around and then goes goes back to the thing that he already got rid of and it's just it's it's ridiculous you can tell that these movies are just getting made like as they go along and they're they're retconning things as they're just they're moving forward i think that this is a perfect way to end the john wick franchise they should have just left it alone i don't understand why they wanted to continue this franchise but here we are we're getting a john wick fly I think it's a dumb idea. I think it's a really stupid idea. And I think the studio is nothing more than money-hungry whores that uh, are basically trying to like piggyback over the idea of uh, Fast and the Furious. And we already know where that went. 
Fast and the Furious is a dying freaking franchise that relies mostly on the sales of uh, the global sales in order to even keep it afloat. Because um, in the United States, it makes absolutely no fucking money like that. It relies on a global market in order to keep it keep it keep its head above water. So there's that. But anyway, all right, that's what I that I just needed to get that off my chest. You're making John Wick five. I don't think it's a good idea. I think you should keep John Wick dead. It's really stupid. The movie was, uh, John Wick 4 was badly written. The last couple of movies were kind of like already on the edge of badly written. It's not much story you could really tell from here. Like, come on, like seriously. John Wick finally got his revenge. He was cast, he died in an honorable way. And we moved on. Like, let's keep, let's continue to move on. Let's let's dive deeper into the you know, the, the ballerina and the, and the continental and things like that. Let's look at the at, at the world of John Wick lives in versus not just sitting with John Wick. Hell, if they was going to do a John Wick fire, they could have waited a while and then did it, you know, but I don't know. I guess Keanu Reeves is getting older, whatever the case may be, so. But it would have been cool to see, like, an old man John Wick. That would have been cool. But anyway, I don't know. I think it's a dumb idea. What do you guys think? You guys think it's a terrible idea for them to continue this John Wick franchise, or do you think I'm tripping and you think that, you know what, they should keep going because... The last movie was fantastic, which would be bullshit, but that's okay. Anyway, that's my uh, that's my opinion. So let me know if you agree or disagree, whatever the case may be. Drop it in the comment section down below. And you are now exiting the Cinema Chop Shop. Hope you guys have a magnificent day. Adios, homies.